So the Theory of Knowledge course, or TOK, along with the extended essay and creativity, activity and service, is right at the core of the IB Diploma Programme. Theory of Knowledge is a course unlike anything you'll have done at school before. It's a course of critical thinking that gets us to look at how we know what we know. Now that might sound a bit dry, but it's not. Studying six subjects on the Diploma Programme, you really get to know how to think in different ways. How to think like a scientist, how to think like a mathematician, to think like a poet, a philosopher, or a dancer, according to which subjects you've chosen. And TOK is in part designed to make you see similarities and differences between the thought processes we use in various areas of knowledge. So those areas of knowledge are history, human sciences, like psychology or economics, natural sciences, it's biology, chemistry, physics, the arts, including music, literature, painting, sculpting, film, dance, and mathematics. Because it's thinking that creates knowledge in these areas. And this is probably the major insight that TOK brings us. Knowledge isn't a bunch of facts or opinions or ideas that just gets dumped into our heads. Knowledge is created by our thinking. Alone, thinking alone, thinking in discussion, and in collaboration with others. And there are many different ways of knowing and thinking that we're engaged in most of the time. So we use our reason to think, or our emotion, or our beliefs, or our memory, our intuition, those gut feelings or instincts, or of course the raw data that we get from our five senses. So there is that core theme running all the way through TOK about knowledge and the knower. But two other themes also get explored, depending on which teacher takes you for lessons. So you could look at knowledge and technology, how knowledge is turned into technology and vice versa. Uh, and you could think about something like maybe what would be the ethics of owning a robot helper if you treated that robot like a slave. There's a title of one very interesting recent book called Would You Date Someone Who Shouts at Alexa? So you can think about knowledge in that kind of way. Or you could look at knowledge and language. Which comes first, knowledge or language? Do we know something and then give a label to it? Or does the label, the word we use, change our knowledge? Does language mainly describe the world, or does it rather create it for us? Or you could look at knowledge and politics. So what kind of expert knowledge is really necessary for politics? A lot of politicians trained as lawyers. Would it be better if they trained as scientists, for example? And which plays the greatest role in voters' decisions? So when you get to vote before very long, is it your reason, your emotion, or your belief? Or we could look at knowledge and religion. The vast majority of the Earth's population throughout time identifies or has identified with one form of religion or another. And much of our art, many of our customs, laws, and our language have religious origins. Now, we might think, is religion destined to fade into history? Or is it an indivisible aspect of human thought? For example, are religion and science, as areas of knowledge, incompatible? And then lastly, we could look at knowledge and indigenous societies. So indigenous societies, uh, peoples who have been uh, in countries before the idea of countries even existed. And these societies are often persecuted and suppressed by colonial powers. They've existed since before recorded history. How might we learn from ancient or traditional ways of knowing and bodies of knowledge? How, in fact, are indigenous knowledge systems being used right now in thinking about such issues as protecting natural habitats or even how to travel in space? Now, assessments, how are you assessed? It comes in two forms. First form of assessment in TOK is an exhibition put on by all students. It's a bit like a fair with tables and displays and so forth with people walking around and asking questions, where each of you will present a short talk about three objects that you've chosen, and you'll argue a case for how we create knowledge in a particular sphere of life. That's a new assessment starting this year, so it should be pretty exciting. Then, near the end of the whole IB course, you have to write a coursework essay, which answers one of six questions posed by the IB. Uh, last year, for example, one question was, does it matter 
that a person's personal circumstances affect how seriously we take their knowledge. And then you think about that, you answer the question using your best arguments, which we teach you in these two years how to make, and giving examples from your own real life experience. So, theory of knowledge is thinking about thinking and how we use different kinds of thinking to make different kinds of knowledge. So there's no escaping from hard thinking. But IBDP students almost always come round to appreciating the course's relevance to the learner profile, particularly in the way that TOK emphasises the need for open-mindedness, balance and critical inquiry. The course helps students appreciate the distinctiveness of their own chosen subjects even more, particularly as they gear up for going to university or apprenticeship. And finally, and I think this is what would really have drawn me to TOK at your age, I'm, I'm quite envious retrospectively, what excites me about teaching it is that you just learn a lot about what makes you tick and what makes other people tick. And that's always interesting. <laughs>